Imagine two fighters fighting a record four times for the most bastardized world championship of all time. Not even the lineal championship, if you ask me. And I'm talking about the UFC's flyweight championship. Yes, Davidson Figueredo and Brandon Moreno. Yeah, the assassin baby. They got it on for the fourth time with the fight being called and Brandon Moreno's hand being raised again in glory, in championship. He unified the belt. He was the interim championship or the interim champion, and now he is the undisputed champion once again. Congratulations, Brandon Moreno. Congratulations. But are you the real champion? I don't think so. And if you don't agree with me, that's fine. That's your opinion. Let me know. Let me know about it. Let me know in the comments. But no, Brandon Moreno is not the best flyweight in the world. Let's not forget, Brandon Moreno definitely got cut from the UFC. And he came back and won the title a la Robbie Lawler. Happened, okay? But let's be honest. Let's break the flyweight division down to, to brass tacks. Demetrius Johnson is the best flyweight in the world. And he was beating everyone. Making it look easy. So easy, it wasn't exactly exciting to watch. So, the rumor was out there. They're going to get rid of the division. They're going to get rid of the division. They send TJ Dillashaw down there to, to get rid of this when Henry Cejudo had the belt. But I'll get to that. How do they make the flyweight division better? Well, a controversial decision between Henry Cejudo and DJ had Cejudo with the belt. You get rid of you get rid of the best fighter to get him out of there, and now everything is up for grabs because you got Cejudo holding the belt now, and he's already lost in the weight class to the likes of Joseph Benavidez. Okay, been been finished by the champion in Demetrius Johnson. So you get Demetrius Johnson's ass out of there in the worst trade in MMA history, the worst trade in MMA history, maybe the only trade. Anyways, you got Demetrius Johnson going to one championship and you got Ben Askren coming over to the UFC. So you trade one of the greatest fighters of all time for Ben Askren, a guy who's already retired twice. Does that make sense? No, but it makes sense this way. You get Demetrius Johnson far away from that flyweight division and now the fights are competitive. The fights are competitive. But you got two guys fighting for it four times after another guy held it and just gave it back. Henry Cejudo. Yeah, I said they sent TJ Dillashaw down there to, to nix the division, so to speak. But he got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, Henry Cejudo handled his business. And then he went up a weight class, won that belt, defended it, and walked off into the sunset. And, you know, there's rumors of him coming back soon to fight Aljamain Sterling for that belt again. But the point is, this belt is bastardized. The legitimate best fighter in the weight class was sent out of the country to Japan. And the other champion, the one that escaped with the victory that night via controversial split decision, Henry Cejudo, gave the belt back. So, the legitimate two best fighters in that weight class, one was sent away. Like he was sent to fucking boarding school. And the other one. Moved up. Gave the belt away. So these guys are fighting four times for this belt. Guys this is the same division here. The fighters aren't getting better. It is just the fact that the best fighter in the world. Is no longer in the promotion. Believe me. If Demetrius Johnson was still in this division. These guys would be the next Horiguchi. Bagutinov, Moraga, Benavidez, the list goes on and on. Demetrius Johnson is the best flyweight in the world. And now he is across the world fighting bigger guys and defeating them too. So keep that in mind when you're listening to one of the most annoying guys to, to listen to, but a great fighter in Brandon Moreno talk about greatness and talk about how he's defeating you know, he's defeating the likes of Davidson Figueredo in the in the four fights that they had, the four fight series. 
Yeah, things got dicey a little bit against Kai Car France, but you got out of there. Things got dicey against Brandon Royval, but he hurt his elbow. He, I mean, his shoulder, rather. How long does Brandon Moreno keep this belt? Only time will tell. But one thing time doesn't have to tell is this. Once again, the best flyweight in the freaking world is Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And it's one of the things we can't normally say. Usually, the person that's holding the UFC championship in that, respect, in that respective weight class is considered the best in the world there. Because they usually have the best fighters in the world. But no. Can you, can you look yourself in the mirror and tell me that Brandon Moreno defeats Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson? Thanks for watching. Of course, subscribe, like, and let me know what you think in the comments, of course. And until next time, stay frosty.